Hello and welcome to Budget Fishing. Um, I am here today, first time out in a while, um, but I'm here today over at uh, Paddock Lake at Tobber Manor. Um, first time I've been here since 21, I think it was, as the lockdown restrictions eased up. Um, I forgot a USB charging cable, really annoying, so uh, I don't know how long I will be able to film for. Um, but yeah, I am here today. Um, I'm for, here for 28 hours, so it's 1 o'clock, or just gone 1 o'clock now, here until 5 o'clock tomorrow. Um, £37.50 for the 28 hours. Um, I would have liked to have got from 8 o'clock in the morning, but um, or 9 o'clock in the morning, but if you go onto the Tobber Manor website, it tells you when the lake's booked up from and uh, till, so you can only get what's available. Um, there's only swim, seven swims on this lake, so it's always difficult to get onto. Um, full of giant catfish. Um, I was just talking to a chap. The biggest one that they've had out uh, this week has been around about the £60 mark. Um, they do go uh, apparently up to sort of around the 80 mark. So, um, and then there's carp up to sort of mid 30s. Uh, one in particular called the fossil, um, which would be nice. That would be a new PB. Uh, any catfish would be a new PB as well. So, um, yeah, I'm here. I will turn it round in a second uh, so you can see the lakes. But uh, yeah. Fingers crossed uh, we get some action today, um, slash tomorrow and go from there. Paddock Lake, um, access to the lake is down over in that far corner, um, like I said, there's seven swims, you've got one there, there's one just over behind that tree, uh, one just down there to the sort of left here, you've got this one here, which is where I am, another one over there, um, one over there, and there's, I think there's another one dotted around somewhere, um, sort of just over by the... Uh, in that sort of little gully over here um, so yeah put the rods out um, so I've got uh, one just down over here uh, one over there roughly and then one sort of I don't know eight to ten wraps over that way um, been using the bait boat with the cats being in here um, I wanted to get a decent chunk of bait down um, so I got a load of pellet left over from when I was up top there, so uh, there's at least a kilo of pellet gone down. Um, I smashed down a load of uh, live system and uh, Pacific tuna as well. So uh, mixed uh, rigs. One rig is on a helicopter, two rigs are on the bottom. Uh, one is a straight uh, hair rig, the other one is um, a uh, sort of, a, what do you call them? It's uh, got a pop-up on it anyway. Um, so yeah. If uh, I've got plenty of features to aim for, so we've got an island just over here, island in front, loads of reeds and everything down in the margins. Um, like I say, down over here you've got an H-shaped island, uh, so you've got a cove there and a cove on the other side. Um, last time I was here I was the other side of the, the H over there. Um, but yeah, caught my PB out of here last time. Um, a few people were asking not long ago. Um, am I still using the bait boat? Is it still working? There it is. It's down there. All the bait and everything. I've still got. Uh, we've got the barrow over there because there's a little bit of a walk on this one. Uh, it's cradle there. Still using the NGT sleep system. Um, tripods there and everything. So uh, yeah, it's. Um, we're all set up, ready to go. So like I say, fingers crossed, we'll uh, we'll get a bit of action. I'll uh, I'll show you the rigs a little bit later on uh, when they come in, but. Uh, yeah, like I say, fingers crossed, we'll get some action. Nothing to report really. Uh, it's been very, very quiet. Uh, the joys of the lake are you can uh, see and hear anything that's going on around it. Um, so, yeah, the weather's all right, um, but yeah, very, very, very quiet um, across everyone. So, hopefully, as it gets into the evening, um, it will pick up a little bit. The, uh, the good news is it looks like the shop have got a USB-C cable, so I'm going to nip down and grab that in a minute, so, um, and then redo my rigs and everything like that. Um, but one thing I have noticed whilst I've been here is, um, does anybody else take a random bag of stuff? Um, I seem to have, I've got a box that I keep all my tackle in, um, I've got a box that I keep all my cooking equipment in, um, got all the other bits and pieces, all my bait and things, and then I've got a bag of 
And there's batteries in there, super glue in there, typically toilet paper, um, a couple of spare reels, and, and then it's just sort of random bits. Um, yeah, I was just wondering, anybody else sort of carry that sort of thing around with them? Um, it seems to get heavier and heavier each trip, um, but I don't really know why. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to hear if uh, anybody else does that. Um, but yeah, so far, so very quiet. Um, it is, I've typically had um, luck on this one overnight and uh, sort of up to about 10 o'clock in the morning, so uh, hopefully that'll be the case here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to nip down and grab that cable in a minute and then, uh, and then redo the rigs and everything and get them back out. So that's the traps reset, um, I've got one on pellet again, uh, I've got a, a hair rig with a double pellet on, um, focusing specifically for the cats on that one. A uh, big bait of um, pellet down with that one, um, as you've seen with the bait boat, uh, I filmed the one going out with the live system on it, um, that's got the combi rig on it with the live system pop-up that's been gloved and a number of freebies to go around it and then there was, uh, and doing the same with the uh, Pacific Tuna. Um, which has got a combi rig on it as well, so uh, a load of pallet and sort of freebies that are around it. So uh, both have been sent out with the uh, with the boat, or all three have been sent out with the boat. It was probably the better thing to say. Um, plenty of freebies around them, um, and it's uh, hurry up and wait again. Um, still in the same situation. Uh, I've not seen or heard anything coming out of the lake. Um, the guy opposite me has turned around and reset his rigs recently. Um, the the chap down near the uh, entrance onto the lake, um, he's done a fresh scattering of um, of bait. He's kind of fishing on the um, where the where the H is. He's doing the all the way along the uh, side of the island. Um, so he's got three rods out there, um, focusing on the cats. Um, the guys opposite, I've not heard anything. I don't know what they're doing, so I've not spoken to them. But uh, yeah. We're back to hurry up and wait, um, so let's see what happens. The missus has made me a good luck charm for this trip as well. Um, it was meant to be a bracelet, but it was too small. So um, it says go fish on there, don't know if you can see it. Um, so I've put it onto one of the bite alarms. Um, as you can see, so, see I'm still using the, uh, the NGT ones. Still using the, uh, if we can get the focus in, the sonic rods and reels. Um, so yeah, it's... As you can see, there's a bit of a breeze, sun's out, uh, it's meant to rain tomorrow, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Uh, time now, half past six. Um, still, so, yeah, still very quiet, there's been a couple of carp showing on the surface. Um, looked half decent size as well, they're not a million miles away from where my, uh, two of my rigs are, so uh, not going to move anything there. Um, I'm just really annoyed that I've just tried to cook dinner, thought I was being clever, um, turned round and I bought a uh, couple of sort of pasta and sort of pots, nice and easy, lack of washing up and all that sort of thing, um, didn't bring any cutlery did I? So, um, however, I have worked out, so the phone charger I bought had packaging and I've cut it out and hopefully this will work like a spoon. Hopefully, um, yeah, really annoyed, um, I forgot cutlery, it also means making a coffee in the morning could be fun, um, I might end up with uh, really, really strong coffee, um, saving graces, I have got a flask, so I might just pour a little bit in there, I tend to use coffee mate whilst I'm on the bank, because it doesn't go off, so I just keep it there, um, we'll find out how good my uh, reusable spoon is, um, but yeah, uh, other than that, very, very quiet. Um, don't recommend forgetting things. Makes life a bit of a pain in the backside. 
Um, but yeah, it's uh, like I say, half past six now. Hopefully, going into the uh, the next couple of hours, there should be something. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, fingers crossed. A, I can eat my dinner, <laughs> and B, uh, there'll be a fish or something or two in a bit. After a uh, sort of 20 minute scrap of it just taking line and more and more line, eventually got it in. That's a PB for me um, at 42. <clears throat> um, I've had them hooked them before. That's the first time I've landed one of that size. And holy shit. I'm absolutely knackered. It's. Uh, relieved itself all over the uh, all over the cradle which is lovely it absolutely stinks I know people turn around and say catfish poo stinks but oh my god does that stink um, but yeah that for me is a PB well happy absolutely knackered uh, it's only 10 o'clock I need to get this rod back out and uh, hopefully go again uh, morning, it's about 20 to 7 this morning, um, no more action over the night. I uh, did have some walking around outside though, which sounded larger than um, typical sort of wildlife, so uh, I don't know, didn't sleep well last night because of that, um, but yeah, so it's about 20 to 7, um, just reset the traps, um, it's decided to, the forecast has lied. Um, there's meant to be a couple of showers today, and it's now changed to 95% rain all day. Um, so that'll be me packing up wet later. Um, but yeah, just reset all the um, the rigs and everything. Uh, get, gone on to the same sort of spots again. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really else to, to report in on this one. Um, keeping out all the tactics the same. There's, uh, there's still a helicopter rig out there. Um, two standard uh, hair rigs on the bottom, one's got the double pellet on, one's got the Pacific Tuna um, pop up and it's on a combi rig and the helicopter's got a live system on it so three different baits, uh, better bait of the, exactly the same um, around them so I use the bait boat just to drop a, a better bait around them um, but yeah uh, I think I might go back to sleep now if I can um, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed there'll be one more before the end um, I'm going to have to try and make a coffee later and eat porridge with uh, my utensils that I've got and also need to work out how to boil the kettle without being outside getting soaking wet. So, all fun and games but uh, yeah, I'll update you as things go. So, time now is about half past eight. Um, just making some breakfast, going to make a brew. Uh, still very, very quiet across the lake. Um, if we spin round... It's still very much, um, very much raining. So uh, I've been checking the forecast every sort of hour, hoping it's going to ease up at some point. Um, doesn't look like it's going to. So it's definitely going to be a, a putting all the kit away wet, which I hate. But there we go. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, kind of hoping for for something else um, I'd like to have a carp on this trip um, that catfish last night yeah the fight that they those things put up uh, is something else if you've never caught one before um, it's definitely an experience um, just be aware they absolutely stink um, they are 
covered in slime as well, so and they're a pain in the ass to try and pick up and photograph. Um, doing the one yesterday, it took me sort of three or four attempts to try and pick the bloody thing up. Um, not the easiest things in the world to net when you're on your own either, um, because of the size of them. If you get a decent size one, that is um, trying to get them into uh, a net when you're on your own is <laughs> quite tricky. Um, but yeah, I've now got to try and do breakfast. I've still got my trusty spoon that um, I carved out of packaging yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's uh, say it's half past eight. I've got until five o'clock this afternoon. I probably won't run all the way through if the conditions stay how they are. Um, I'll probably just wrap up a little bit earlier than planned um, and go home. But uh, yeah can't complain so far um, I would like to uh, one or two more maybe um, last night sounded like it was fairly busy uh, across the lake I heard a couple of people shouting about get to their mates to get nets and whatever I've heard bite alarms going off throughout the night so um, but yeah the the conditions are the conditions are good um, I've had a uh, I've had the Dorset carper ping me over um, a an area of the lake um, my right hand rod has been fishing right next to a nest, which I didn't realise, um, a nest of catfish, um, and he, he put a couple of hot spots on there, and all my rods have basically been on the hot spots that have been mentioned, so I, I'm not doing anything wrong, it's just a little bit quiet, um, obviously one in the uh, one in the net is, uh, I can't complain at, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed uh, the rest of the day is fruitful. Um, but at the moment, it's time to get some uh, some coffee and meat and uh, and some breakfast. Obviously, if you've um, enjoyed this video and you aren't already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to click the like button as well. Uh, the like button is actually very important. It helps sort of videos um, go to the top of the piles and things like that. So it'd be much appreciated if you could. Um, with regards to other people. Um, I mentioned the Dorset Carper, if you aren't subscribed to him already, go give him a follow as well. Um, he does a lot of the sort of coking farm, um, uh, he's, he said he's off to the islands this weekend. Uh, he does here as well, which is Topham Manor, um, and he does a few other venues as well. So give him a follow, um, some good information and uh, some good videos on there. Um, he's out a lot more active than I am as well. Um, but yeah, like I say, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, and like the video uh, and click the bell if you want any of the if you want notifications other when the videos go live um, but yeah obviously the more subscribers we get the uh, the more it sort of pushes things on um, and yeah hopefully uh, it won't be long before we hit the magic thousand mark um, we're not a million miles away but uh, yeah see if we can get to that magic thousand it'd be much appreciated and uh, like I say, hopefully I'll be able to get out a little bit more. It'll probably be day, day sessions from the year for the rest remainder of the year here on in, unless I get uh, a lucky break with regards to time off work and whatnot. Also, just a final one whilst I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, um, just having a think about it. If there's anything you want to see in these videos that uh, you don't feel you get shown enough of, um, please put them in the comments. Um, I will try and respond to as many comments as I can. I always try and respond to the comments where possible. Um, but yeah, if there's things you want to see that are viable, then um, like I say, please put them down. Um, like I say, if there's things in the video from the sessions that you uh, um, don't feel there's enough information on, then like I say, pop it in the comment and I'll uh, I will adapt the videos to this. Um, like I say, rigs wise, I keep things very very simple. If you want to see with regards to tying rigs, there are a lot better videos out there with, that can do uh, show you that sort of thing. Um, so yeah. It, it, find them um, I'm not very good when it comes to time rigs I can do them um, but there are a lot better people out there to show you that bit but uh, yeah like I say any um, points you want to see anything like that just let me know um, it's always good to get uh, viewers input um, I'd like to put out the things that you'd want to see and uh, and then go from there so rods are rebated it's 11 o'clock now um, last baiting up session so to speak um, so yeah, rods rebated, um, back out, better bait down, uh, a couple of guys who have turned up, one of them's just had a run, um, which he lost, took him straight into the reeds, um, but yeah, rain has eased off, which is nice, uh, for how long will be, uh, will be interesting, but, uh, 
yeah, it's it's still quiet. Um, there's now somebody in the swim just along from me. Somebody in the swim opposite, so another lake's full. Um, I haven't seen beds and beds of bait going in, so fingers crossed I'll get one more. I'm gonna pack up about three o'clock, so I've got about four hours left. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. One more, one more before I go. That would be nice. <laughs> where I've reset the rods to on uh, for the final stint um, so you've got a tree just over there um, there's a little cove down here I got told by uh, someone not long ago that there's a catfish nest down there so um, put plenty of bait down there or whatever see if we can pull something out uh, so that's the right hand rod the middle one is over towards the island around about there a couple of rod lengths off of it um, load of pellet and everything on that one um, and then my left hand rod is about here so there's a channel that runs through there you've got the island so it's sort of in between the in the middle of the channel um but a bit further out so it's about there um that's the live system with a number of freebies thrown down um like i say middle one is all halibut pellet so i've got two pellets on the hair um and a better pellet down along with it and the right hand one is the pacific tuna with a handful of freebies and some pacific tuna um pellet so that's where i am at the moment as you can see it is raining again um but yeah it's uh, it keeps coming on and off um i've got about three hours left so i say fingers crossed there'll be something otherwise i'm going to pack up at about three o'clock or start packing up at about three o'clock um, and then making my way home. So let's hope there is a, another bite to come. And a little more hand down here, is, or whatever it is, is just turned around and found some stuff off the lake bed that I haven't thrown in. Um, there's been plenty of fish showing. There was a big churn up of silt and everything over here, a um, bit further away from where my rods were, uh, but it made a big cloud in the water. Um, there's been a few fish showing over towards the uh, the swim over here, so there's been a couple of nice ones over here, and a couple over that way. Um, and the chap on the far side has had a cat uh, sort of in the middle of the lake, about there, um, where the gravel bar sort of runs across. So there's uh, things showing, but now it's a case of uh, getting one. So like I say, fingers crossed there'll be one more before the end of this uh, video, but yeah. If not, then it is what it is, and uh, there's one nice cat in the bag. So, lunchtime, and we're eating, cooking, bacon. Who doesn't love a bit of bacon whilst on the bank? Obviously, unless you're vegan. Um, but yeah, getting a bit of bacon on the go. Time over till tea tonight. Can't wait, absolutely starving. Oh, a couple of hours left. Bacon sandwiches, hopefully a fish. Fingers crossed for the fish. Uh, I am going to get this in my belly. It's Marjorie the Mallard. Hello.
Goodbye. So just got back from uh, Todber. Uh, it's now about six o'clock, so I'm going to go and have a shower and get changed. Um, sadly, no more fish um, were had uh, whilst I was there. Uh, I did see the guy opposite have a couple. Um, he'd had six during the day. I had a quick chat with him at the end. Um, he explained his tactics. Um, the only thing he was doing different to me was... He wasn't putting a pile of bait down. He was spreading his bait out across an area. Um, he, he, they book the lake up for a week, a year. Um, and he's saying that uh, he's fished it for about 35 years. And he was saying that tactic works um, every time. So um, if you are planning on going down there, it's well worth taking that advice on board. He has fished it an awful lot and he was being very successful. So I will take that on board for the next one and uh, do that tactic myself. Um, but yeah, uh, not a bad trip, only the one fish, but I'm more than happy with a new PB. So uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, and on to the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell if you uh, want to see any more videos as and when they go up. Um, but yeah, for now, tight lines, and I'll hopefully catch you all soon. Cheers!